proud of the fact that we're able to push through and get a postseason win. Uh, you know, I told our players that uh, you know when you get into the postseason, whether it's conference tournament play, NCAA or NIT, um, you know these are the games that kind of cut your teeth and uh, and where you make your name. And uh, over the last eight years, uh, you know we've been able to have a streak to get there to the postseason, whether it's NIT or NCAA. And, um, and so I'm proud that we were able to gut through this game where you easily can, you know, just let it go. Uh, maybe you have a little bit of a, a letdown from not being in a tournament, but that's why I was really proud of, of the ability of us to be able to come back and, and push through in that second half. And now we live on to go to our next game. Uh, so we'll get ready for that. But uh, proud of their effort, proud of the two ladies that are here. Uh, they were very sharp this week, and it showed in the game. How big is it to make a run in the WNIT and try to get a championship here this way? I feel like if we, you know, make a run in the NIT, it'll, you know, kind of show that maybe we should have been in the NCAA. So, um, you know, it's we're grateful to be playing right now. Uh, a lot of teams are sitting home, not able to play. So, just to have the opportunity right now is, is good for us. Girls, coach talked about some of the. Um, challenges of, you know, uh, being disappointed and, and maybe not coming out with the right energy. But how did you guys tackle that and, and make sure, you know, you came to play today? Uh, I just think our effort and practice this week, you know, like I said, we're grateful to be playing right now. So, you know, whether it's the NCAA, MIT, whatever, you know, we don't want to go out there and embarrass ourselves either, you know. So I think just to um, play hard and keep our same integrity that we've had all year is, is what we were uh, aiming to do. How did you guys uh, counter uh, their strengths? Uh, well, they're a team that's a lot of screens, especially for number five. That was their main go-to player. And then uh, offensively, uh, well, for them, well, for us, uh, teams is going to uh, usually just lock in on Danasia and Aaliyah and just leaving me open. So me just coming to the basket and just looking for the ball from my teammates and just me and just going. Lee, well, you can talk a little about your individual performance, 20 points, new career high, 12-12 from the free throw line. Were you locked in today more than usual? Uh, yes, I absolutely was. Uh, I was actually surprised they played us how every other team played us during this year. Uh, basically, just uh, trying going to on Aaliyah and on D. And uh, me just coming to the basket, hit my teammates, and them looking for me on the cuts uh, got me going. Anything else for Aaliyah or Danasia? How do you both as student athletes balance preparing, you know, because you never know who your next opponent is until they, they win. So I guess how do you how do you balance that, like not getting too far ahead but keeping hungry uh, for the current game that you're playing? Um, it, it wasn't too different on um, how our season was overall. You know, we had the Friday-Sunday matchups. So, you know, th uh, mainly during the week we would prepare, prepare for our Friday team. Then we would have, like, you know, uh, a day and a half to prepare for the next team. So it's not too much of a difference. Danasia, can you talk about how Army kept making runs at you in the second half? Um, they're a great team, and you know, um, sometimes we lost our composure. You know, we had turnovers that uh, weren't too forced, um, and I, I think they took advantage of it. They were able to, you know, uh, get their players open. They were able to get some offensive rebounds that hurt us as well. Um, so I think they just uh, took advantage of our mistakes. But you responded each time. Right. We were able to uh, keep pushing, you know, we never really got too down on ourselves. You find that this type of tournament will help you, uh, you know, for next year to making hopefully the NCAA tournament? Yes, I uh, absolutely agree. Uh, we just keep working in practice and uh, proving to everybody that we should have been in the NCAA by working hard in here. We'll be fine. For high, it's a six feet throw, was stressed, it sealed it. Yeah, I mean, she was terrific. I think uh, this probably reminded us more of the one game last year against Harvard uh, where she really paced us. I thought this was something that we need from her, uh, quite frankly. And if she can do this or even something close to this on a night nightly basis, uh, we become a very different team. Uh, we become more dangerous because now she's someone you have to account for. Um, so for her to be able to, she's got a lot on her plate. I mean, this kid, I, I put a lot on her. And as a freshman, she had to do it for 10 games, really, at the beginning of the year. Then Gina came back. And this year, she's had it all year. She's got to guard pretty much the best player a lot of times, whether it's Channing or, or uh, you know, Richard Smith or 
guys that we're trying to take out of the game, and she's got to run our team. I mean, that's a lot for a kid. So I've been happy with her either way. But she was terrific. I mean, when she plays when she plays well, I think a lot outside of we know what Hampton and Grant got to bring us. Uh, we're we're very good. But I'm happy for her, and I hope this carries over the next uh, in the next game because if she does it, uh, yeah, we become a lot more dangerous. Can you talk about defending Bonato and how surprised could you be about um, the way Tresman played tonight? No, I mean, uh, Bonato, I wasn't surprised. I mean, Bonato obviously is, a, is someone watched on film, um, probably watched three or four games on her, and I was impressed. I, I was just uh, saying that she reminds me of Caroline Coyer from Villanova. Um, but her motor is impressive. Her motor, she played 40 minutes. I mean, she did love when she played 40 minutes. Uh, my guys have played, played 40 minutes. But, she, she's got a good motor on her, I mean, and then to be able to have to have that stress on you to make shots. Um, and I was actually pleased with how we guard her. I thought we did a fairly good job, and she still had 19. So um, she, she's a nice player. Uh, our goal was to make Stretzman and, and, and you know, Bortner and, and uh, uh, Failer have to take shots. So uh, I knew 12 was probably, as everybody does, because if you look at the stats anyway, she's the most aggressive player outside of uh, – uh, Bonato. So uh, I, I wasn't surprised by that. I was disappointed in some of our efforts um, as far as rebounding, defensive transition, those things. Um, some of our rotations, but uh, but no, they did a nice job. And um, and Dave McGarity is as good as they come. He's a class actor. Was there anything that you said to the team when Army was making their their surge late in that second half? There was there anything that was said, or did you know that the veterans would uh, step up and? Uh, I told them to calm down. I mean, that's pretty much, you know, I tried to remind them. I said to them, think of the games earlier in the year and one time out about, you know, losing your composure or getting worried about a foul call and then and, and you lose it. And in the end, State comes to mind, Butler. Um, and, and then we're not able to recover. So I was happy at 54 50. That's when that kind of all occurred. And then we were able to push it up because um, I thought that was the turning point. When they got it to 54 50, it was kind of, I guess, a scuffle on the side. I don't know what happened. And then that timeout, I think, calmed us down uh, and, and got us back to where we needed to be. And then we made a couple pushes. I thought the Nation made some big shots for us, too, uh, that helped push it. As somebody who's been in this WNIT tournament, do you find that uh, find having success in this tournament will lead to success for your underclassmen when they make the NCAA tournament? Yeah, if I can play them. I mean, uh, the, my underclassmen I look at as freshmen, but, I mean, my other guys have played. I mean, in reality, they haven't played a lot. I mean, Aaliyah Hanford and Amber Thompson, probably the two guys that have played major minutes. Jade Walker and Aaliyah Lewis and even Dee Grant last year played minutes but not had a major uh, clip for us last year. So these are important games for everybody. So they absolutely are uh, important, putting them in these situations and seeing how they're going to react, uh, having that pressure on you to have to win or go home. You know, I've been coaching for a while now, and, and being in the postseason, it never gets old, and you can't take it for granted. I tell them every day that you think it's easy going to five straight, and it's not. And, you know, if that hunger and desire isn't there, uh, our league will eat you up, and the non-conference will eat you up. But, uh, you know, you've got, to, you've got to want it every single year. And that's what we're proud of. And that's what I'm most proud of, being, being here for this period of time. Uh, it hasn't been one year. You know, and, and it's been more than that. It's been an extended run that we will continue. So this is important to them. Uh, and we're going to get better. Uh, we're going we're gonna to have change, but we're going to get better, and we're going to move forward. So we gotta, we got to get ready for our next one. That's the biggest thing.